Excuse me. Uh, the line moved. Oh, thanks. Oh, you're a paramedic? Not anymore. And then I gave her the ring. And the rest was history. <laughs> to Cardin and Heather. Here, here. And to Heather, especially for agreeing to put up with my brother for the rest of her life. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks for that. That's what I'm here for. It's okay. I want to put up with you. Yeah, me too. Oh, I'll get, get a room. <laughs> <laughs> so how's the apartment source going, Emily? Good. Uh, I actually signed a lease today. What? Congratulations. Why didn't you tell us? Mom, I'm telling you right now. You could have said something earlier. Yeah, I could have told you while you were running around cleaning and cooking and freaking out because everything wasn't perfect. I'm so sorry. So, when are you moving in? Mm -hmm. um, I'm moving in on the first. That's in five days. I'm aware. Emily. Mom. Diane, we'll talk about this later. Honey, you should tell them what happened at work today. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so it's a really great story. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting at work. It's totally busy. Um, and then... Guys, I'm fine. I hear sirens all the time. You never said you weren't. Cardin, what was that story you were, you were telling? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was earlier today. Um, it's actually kind of funny because... Honey, I just have to go to the bathroom. I think it's great that you found your own place. Your parents will come around. Yeah, I'm starting to think that I that I rushed into signing a lease. Emily, you did the right thing. And it's good to see you standing up for yourself. Thanks. How's the old detective bee coming? I was slow for a while, but I finally got this homicide case. Oh. Sorry. No, it's fine. Part of the job. I don't know how you do it. I can't handle that tension anymore. So, things aren't exactly peachy here, huh? You know how my parents are. They mean well, but... But? But the second I get home, my, my mom is on my case. She's asking me all these questions and making sure I don't freak out at the tiniest sound. And my dad, he's, he's quiet, which is nice, but it's, it's clear that he doesn't want to talk about it. He just doesn't get it. Well, he doesn't understand that it's an illness. Two years ago, one of my colleagues was involved in a shootout and his partner got hit. He went to therapy, but the PTSD was affecting him so badly, he just couldn't get back to the beat. What does he do now? Uh, I haven't seen him in a while, but last I knew, he was a systems analyst or something. Last week, my dad asked me if I was ready to go back to work. You mean? As a paramedic, yeah. What did you say? Nothing. I don't think that he realizes that I might never be ready to go back. 
Well, do you think you might eventually be up to doing something else in the field? It's, it's too soon to tell. Hello, dear. Hi. Um, Come in. Oh, no, I was just dropping off the rent check. Thank you. I, I know that it's only half. I was wondering if it'd be okay if I dropped the rest off on Friday. Why don't you come on in and we can discuss it? No, I'm, I'm good. Oh, um, I was just uh, cutting up some meat before. Uh, come on in, dear. You know what? I can, I can just give you the, the rest right now, actually. It's not a problem. You must be Jason. Yeah. Emily. So we've got the kitchen, um, the living room. Back here is my room, the bathroom, and then the open rooms all the way in the back. Cool. So do you throw a lot of parties? Or? No. <laughs> I mean, I just, I work in the morning, so no. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Totally. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll let you know soon. Okay. Free to look a uh, look around. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions if that's okay. Okay, shoot. Do you have any pets? No, but I really like cats, if you know what I mean. I really wish I didn't. Are you a morning person? I'm really more of a night person. Would you say you're a fairly neat person? Okay, so like, I would say I'm pretty neat, but like last week I accidentally left my bathroom towel on the floor, and when my sister said I was like really, really messy, she got really mad, but like, I disagree. I'll like, call you. Awesome. I just hate my life. I thought having your own place was better. It was. I mean, it, it is. I just, I don't think I can afford it by myself for much longer. I can see about getting you a raise. 
but I don't have much wiggle room in the budget. You know that. Oh, Delia, you don't have to do that. I mean, I'd appreciate it, but <laughs> I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, that's, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant at all. Okay. I do want to help you where I can, though. No, I know, and, and you've been more than understanding. These brochures aren't gonna print themselves. Can you rearrange the counter display for the sale, please? Yeah. Thanks. Emily Jacobson? That's me. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, come on in. I'm sorry, have we met before? Uh, down at the coffee house? Oh, right. I'm happy that my ad was successful. At least for one person. Well, this is the living room. The, the kitchen. The bathroom. This is the open room. That's my bedroom. Lots of space. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm living the dream. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, do you have any pets? No. Are you a morning person? I guess so. Are you, are you neat? Yeah. If anything, my messes will be contained in my room. <laughs> cool. What about, are you a party person? Mm, not really. Do you smoke? No. Nothing? No marijuana, no cigars? I don't smoke anything. <laughs> I wouldn't judge, I wouldn't judge. Are you a drinker? Wine. Occasionally. I'm not an alcoholic, if that's what you're thinking. No, I mean, you know, it's exactly what an alcoholic would say, right? <laughs> Hello, my name is Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. Hello, Sarah. Do you have a job? Yeah, I sell insurance. Oh. That sounds interesting. It's very glamorous. <laughs> Do you have any questions for me? No, not really. Okay, well, I'll call you in a few days. Oh, you're reading The Devil in the White City. Yeah, I, I can hardly put it down. It's my favorite book. It's so creepy, I can't stop reading it. The writing is amazing. Uh, Sorry, I won't take up any more of your time. Oh, no, it's fine. I'll call you. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Do you need anything? No, no. I see last time you were here was about six months ago. Oh, uh, that's, that's right. And your dreams are back. They're getting worse. When you have these dreams, do you wake up right away? Yes. And are you able to go back to sleep? No. Never? I, I, I stopped trying a long time ago. So what do you do after you wake up? Well, if it's after 5 a.m., I'll text my brother's fiance. She, she gets it. Gets what? Everything. Like? Uh, 
Well, she knows other people who, who have PTSD. So she understands a little bit about how you're feeling? How does she help when you have one of your dreams? Heather. Oh, hey, Brendan. Here are the notes on the latest victim. I cannot believe we already have three. Feels like we have the next Milwaukee monster on our hands. Well, at least we can see this one coming. <laughs> oh, hey, Em, come in. Emily, this is Brandon. Brandon, this is Cardin's sister, Emily. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. Can you give us a minute? Oh, sure. Are you ready? I actually can't do lunch anymore. This case is moving really fast, and we got to get on top of it. Okay. It's okay, I understand. I actually did want to talk to you about something. Sit down. So, as you know, I am not close with my family. I know you have a lot of stuff going on right now, but I already consider you my sister. So, would you be my maid of honor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would be happy to. Yeah, okay, yeah. thank you. Ugh. Okay, we'll start planning soon, okay? Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, but for now, duty calls. All right, all right. Okay. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Yes? Hey, it's Sarah. We met a few days ago. Oh, right. I hate to nag. I was wondering if you'd made a decision. No, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I was actually gonna call you. Um, I choose you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, I have some other offers if you have someone better. No, 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 please. I, I would like to live with you. You're the only sane person that I interviewed. Okay, if you're sure. I am. Great, I can get my stuff together. Can I come over tonight? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, I didn't think you'd get here so quick. Yeah, I was planning on moving in the next couple days anyway, so I had most of my bags packed. <laughs> hey, let me help you. Hey, what are you making? Risotto with veggies. Oh, it smells great. Would you like some? I made plenty. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that was amazing. Thanks. Where'd you learn how to cook? It's mostly self-taught. Mm. Were your parents good cooks? I wouldn't really know. Both my parents died when I was pretty young. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, what's your story? 
Um, I, 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 was, I was born and raised in Milwaukee. I worked as a paramedic for a few years up until, up until I just, I needed a change. Now I work in a flower shop. <laughs> My brother's getting married, and his fiance asked me to be the maid of honor, which is really exciting, but now I have to, have to figure out how you plan a wedding. <laughs> Hang on a minute. You, you used to be a paramedic, and now you sell flowers? That's quite the departure. So a few months ago, there was a, a car accident, like a huge pileup on the freeway. Do you know what a triage is? I've heard of it. That's good enough. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my ring and I were the, the second ones there. The, the first responders were already triaging. So assigning people a color, red, yellow, green. Red being uh, the people who need immediate attention. And I went into this patient who was marked as a red. Marked? Yeah, they have these little color tags. And he was marked as a red, and he was just bleeding from his chest. And I immediately put pressure on it, but he wasn't breathing. I, well, he was breathing, but very, very slowly. So I opened up his airway, but he still wasn't breathing. And I knew I needed to get a needle to, to, to drain the fluid that was surrounding his lungs, but I didn't have one in my bag. And there were no other paramedics around. So I thought, I can run to the ambulance and grab the needle and I can come back. But when I, when I got back, he was gone. I should never have left his side. What's going on here? He's... He, he... Dead. I was just trying. I was... Okay. I need you over here. Emily, look at me. You did everything you could. Let's go. How are you doing? I'm gonna take some time off. Get my head back on straight. Of course. Do you know when you'll be back? Okay. Take care. You too. I can't believe I just told you that whole story. We just met. No. Don't worry about it. The best thing that I found you can do in these situations, from what I've heard, is you need to be able to get yourself to a place where you can turn off your emotions. Hey, I, I used to be able to do that. My goodness, beautiful. Nice legs, Bagby. <clears throat> what the fuck? It's important not to have a strong opinion about the dress until we find out how Heather feels about it. But we don't want to color how she feels about it. What 
do you think? I don't know. I don't really like the fit. Um, you mean how slim it is? Yeah. Maybe something a little more flowy? Yeah. Emily, what do you think? It's, I mean, it's okay. I, I get what you're saying about the fit. It's not really you. But, but I mean, you pull it off, of course. Well, are you ready to try on the next one? Yeah. I didn't really like the off-white. Oh. No. Yeah. Guys, it looks good. You exactly look gorgeous. Like... <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I can't wait for Carden to see you and. Mom. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm glad you're both here. So is this the is this the one? It's up to you, honey. But you know how we feel about it. Yes, this is the one. <laughs> <laughs> To the dress? To Heather and Carden. To family. Hey. I thought you were gonna be home an hour ago. Yeah, no, we went to uh, went to dinner after shopping. Thanks for the call. I'm oh, sorry, sir. I didn't I didn't realize it was such a big deal. It's fine. So how was dress shopping? <laughs> it was great. And we found the one, too, which according to my mom is really rare the first time out. And it was so much fun. And honestly, I, I wasn't really into it when we first started, but then Heather started trying dresses on and she tried the one that we picked out and she looks stunning in all of them. But when she tried that dress on, she just looks stunning. You, you gotta meet her sometime. Oh yeah? Yeah, she's super funny too. I, I honestly couldn't have picked a better partner for my brother if I tried. Oh my God, I hit her? Oh my God. Jesus, are you okay? Uh, I don't know, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Oh. I'll say you managed to cut really deep. How bad is it? Uh, uh, you, you probably need stitches. Come on, let's go. To the hospital? Yeah, come on. <laughs> are you sure I'm gonna need stitches? I'm, I'm afraid of hospitals. What, seriously? I'm sorry, it's the smell and combined with all the death and disease around. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is the best way to tell if stitches are actually needed. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure you can't go to the hospital? Positive. Okay, uh, I have some old supplies, but you're gonna have a scar. It's fine by me. All right. Okay, let's see. Okay, you can sit back down. Okay. Sorry. No, it's fine. Those are fancy. <laughs> It'll be good as new in no time. Thanks. So, uh, what kinds of other stuff do you have in there? Um, gauze. Scissors, uh, tweezers, I got smelling salts. Smelling salts? 
Yeah. Do those things actually work? Take a whiff. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> Is my nose bleeding? No, you'll be fine. That could wake the dead. Yeah, well, that's the point. Do you plan on going back? Why, why do you ask? That's one hell of a first aid kit. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, came in handy, didn't it? I guess so. She's fine. She's fine. She's okay. She's okay. You did it. You did it. You did it. She's fine. You did it. It's fine. It's fine. No, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Why do you still have medical supplies in your apartment? I, I guess I never got rid of them. But you brought them with you to your parents' house and then you took them with you to your new apartment. That's true. What does your past as a paramedic mean to you? It means a lot. It made me feel like... like my life had meaning. You know? And I know that there's more, more to life than, than your job. There's friends and families and stuff. And, I also know that I'm not a bad person for what I, for what happened. I know what happened last night was triggering, but how else did it make you feel? It made me feel useful. Uh, th this is my roommate, Sarah. Hello there. I'm here for the rent. I've, I've, I have my check right here. Thank you. Ron, is it okay if I come up with my portion of the rent a little later? Sure, what time? Half an hour? Yeah, that's uh, fine. Great, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, he's just... He's I just... saw. Are you sure you're comfortable going up there alone? I've dealt with my fair share of creeps. Be careful.
Hello, sweetheart. Come on in. Can I get you anything? Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? Here's my portion of the rent. Is cash okay? Yeah, cash will be fine. So, uh, you just moved in, huh? Yeah. Well, tell me about yourself. There's not much to tell, Ron. This orphan's been here and there, doing a little of this, a little of that. Nothing too interesting. You must have done, uh, something interesting. Not really. Oh, you play. Uh, careful. Wouldn't want you to break anything. Oh. Welcome back. Did you dream about me? I like you better when you're quiet. Let me ask you something. Out of all the ways you envisioned this scenario, did you ever imagine it going this way? What? Funny how things work out, isn't it? Oops! Didn't mean to dig in. Someone enjoying the preview? Should we get on with the show? I suppose. Any last words? There's no use. Drag this out.
Oh, you're home early? Yeah, I thought I'd cook for once. That's sweet. You know what would go great with that? Some carrots. Did you get some? Uh, no. I think I have some in the fridge. Yeah. Wait, where? Did you check the back? Oh, here they are. Thank God you're here, you're such a good cook. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking for this? Oh. Yeah. Thanks. You said this was our guy? Most likely. This is not our guy. It was taken in the minutes following... Ryan, look closely at the face and the hand. This is our girl. Look at the curve in the face and the size of the hand. That's a woman. It's a stretch. You wanted me to find details. Let's put the pictures aside for a minute. These just came in. I could really use your help. Did you like the play? It was fine. You didn't like it? I'm just not a big theater person. It's too bad Heather had that case come up. She loves this kind of stuff, and she could use a night out, too. That's why I got those tickets. Sorry. Well, don't be. It's not like you gave her more to investigate. This is my favorite one. What'd you think? It was all right. All right? Cardin, you have to pick a venue soon. You should have one by now. I'm aware, but maybe it's a good thing we don't have one. Oh, Cardin. I don't know if Heather and I are right for each other. She's always working. She's a detective. I get that. I know, everything she's doing is important, and it can't wait, but sometimes I I just feel like I'm too boring for her. I'm gonna be totally honest. I think you are too boring for her. But I also think that she finds that endearing. Feelings like this aren't unusual, but it is clear that you and Heather are great together. And besides, when you're not around, the, the way that she talks about you, <laughs> you can tell she's so crazy about you. Really? Come on, I've got another venue that we can go look at. All right. I can't wait for you to see her in her dress. You keep saying that. Seriously, you're gonna melt.
I'm surprised you made it home for dinner. You haven't been home much lately. Yeah, I've been looking at venues with Heather and Cardin. I mean, mainly just Cardin, actually, because as Heather's been working on that case so much lately. And I get it. I know how important her job is. I mean, she's keeping us safe. You know, it just gets frustrating. Tell me about it. Heather? This just came in. Oh my God. Hello? Where are you? Uh, I'm at work, what's up? Your landlord was murdered. What, Ron? Yes. Really? Yeah, we found his body in the woods last night. Was he, was he killed in my building? We're looking into that. In the meantime, you and your roommate should be extra careful. We'll have patrols around your neighborhood and an officer outside at night. I'll keep you informed. Okay. <sighs> your landlord was murdered. What, Ron? Yeah, we found his body in the woods last night. Was he... Was he killed in my building? We're looking into that. In the meantime, you and your roommate should be extra careful. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll be plenty careful. <laughs> Something's going on. I really need to talk to you. Emily! What are you doing? We have a line out the door. Look, I'll call you later. So you're 100% sure? He was not killed inside of his apartment. The door was locked. There was no outside footprints. Nothing was out of place. We were very thorough. Then what happened? Why him? I I mean, he had a couple of sexual assault charges against him, but he wasn't convicted of anything. And those were settled outside of the courts. That is the only thing that I can think of that would make him a possible target, as far as I can tell. What about the killer? He is still at large. But we are working overtime and doing everything that we can so we can catch this guy. Oh, I know. I know how hard you work. Are you sure you don't want to stay with us tonight? Yeah, no, I'm fine. It's it's just I Hey, Sarah. Hey. Hey, this is Heather. It's nice to finally meet you, Heather. Yeah. Are you guys discussing wedding plans? Uh No, he Heather's here. Ron was murdered. How did Really? Here? No. No, my team found him outside. We just searched his apartment. We didn't find a shred of evidence that the killer was in the apartment. If Ron was killed in his apartment, we would know. You're sure? Trust me, we were there for hours. That's just a... It's unbelievable. I... Are you sure you two don't want to sleep somewhere else for the night? No, no. It... It's fine. We've, we've got each other. Yeah. We have each other. Okay. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, the pleasure's mine.
She doesn't seem that concerned. Uh, no, she's just like that. Well, she did just find out. How did you two meet again? Oh, she responded to the ad that I posted in the coffee shop. You guys hang out a lot? Yeah, here and there. I mean, she's cool. What does she do? What does with all the questions? I'm sorry. I'm, I've just been working too much. I need to be on my honeymoon. Yeah, you should go home to Cardin. Yeah. All right. I will see you soon. Lock the door behind me, okay? I will. Get some rest. You too. Good night. Emily. Good morning. Morning. Why'd you sleep out here? I don't know, I guess I'm still a little freaked out. Right. I was gonna make some breakfast. You want some eggs or something? Yeah, thanks. This is so weird. I've never known anyone who's been murdered before. Hmm? Uh, yeah. I've only been to a few funerals. There's my grandma and then my great uncle. Mm-hmm. What about you? Murders or funerals? Either. Well, there was my parents, of course, but I was young and I don't remember much. Right, I'm sorry to bring that up. The past is in the past. We could talk about it, I, if, if, if you want to. I don't. Scrambled okay? Sarah, I'm not a stranger. You know what? Uh, forget the eggs. I, I should I should get going. I'm sorry. This whole murder thing has me shaken up too. Yeah. I get it. Be careful. You too. Hey. <clears throat> Did you finish those files? Yeah, I was here almost all night going through them. The dots just aren't connecting anymore. We need to find more dots. Where, Brandon? We've looked everywhere, and we've gone through this file like a hundred times. And between the both of us, we've got like six hours of sleep in the last three nights. I just can't think straight anymore. Look, if you need to take I'm the night- I'm fine. No, you're right. We need to get some sleep if we're gonna make any progress. So you go home, get some rest. I'll take over tonight. 
I'm gonna switch off. Okay. Okay. Hey, Brandon. You know that algorithm that allows you to match sketches with mugshots? Yeah. Do you have access to the computer that can perform it? Well, I've got one over at District 6, but why? You don't have a suspect. No, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to check in on something. We need to be focused on these cases. I shouldn't have to tell you that. I know, I know. I am, really. Go home, Heather. Oh, Mom, what do you think about this one? That's beautiful. Could you make that here? Looks pretty simple. Want me to write it down? Cardin? Huh? You could show a little interest in your wedding. I've shown plenty of interest before. And as you know, this really isn't my thing. Yeah, well, if Heather was here, then you wouldn't have to be. But it's not our fault that she's off saving the world all the time. Ooh, do you like these? Yeah, whatever you want, Mom. I trust you. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. We are almost done. Oh, you know, let him go. It'll be more fun without his sulking. What about these? Oh, those are gorgeous. Oh, hey, Heather. Hey, Liz, did you get the sketch I sent? Yeah, let me pull it up. Is this for your homicide case? Uh, yeah, sort of. I'm just trying to connect a few things. Let's take a look. It takes a minute. <laughs> I really appreciate you doing this. Really, it's not a problem. When's the wedding? Three weeks. Excited? Can't wait. Although I wish I could be doing more to get things set up, but Cardin's sister has been doing everything so far. She's such a sweetheart. Yeah. Sounds like you got a good guy and good in-laws. I'm really lucky. I'm really happy for you. Oh, here we go. There are a few matches. Here's the first one. This does not match the picture that I sent. How accurate is this? Well, it's not perfect. Give me a second. Here's another match. Whoa. What are the case details on that one? Uh -huh. Catherine Williams, born in Little Rock, Arkansas, 1989. Orphaned at age 10 when her mother shot her father and then herself. She bounced around orphanages for a few years before she ended up with a foster family in Dallas. Um, this picture was taken at age 17 when she broke into a neighbor's house and then served three months for it. After that, she was arrested for beating a neighbor's dog with a baseball bat. Um, in her early 20s, there were a couple other misdemeanors, two assault charges. After that, uh, that's all. Nothing else on her record. Oh, but here's another mugshot from a later arrest. I, uh, I gotta go. What? This isn't who you're looking for? You know, it's not. Um, I just remember something else. Thanks. You should add baby's breath. Mom, leave this to the experts. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. Ready? Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Okay, we totally.
totally need more of these. You are burning it. No, I'm, stop. I'm, I'm not. I'm making it better. Stop. Let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> they pride me. Emily, hey, I found out some stuff about Sarah. She is not who you think she is. She is dangerous. Call me when you get this, and whatever you do, don't go home. Let's see if our dear Emily gets the message. Nice to see you again, Detective. Well, that went well. Yeah. I'm glad that Cardin finally got into it. Are you excited for the wedding? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. And a few months ago, you were so nervous about being the maid of honor. Yeah, well, I don't know. The work's been manageable. My brother's happy, and I'm, I'm getting the great sister in law. I'm happy for you. It's so nice to see you smile. All right, I'll see you later. Okay. Oh, he's going to miss you so much. Oh my god. Where where are you? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come get you. I'm coming to get you. Are you okay? That was my brother. Heather didn't come home last night, and they... This morning they traced her phone to the woods and...
She's dead. I'm so sorry. Pardon, you should really drink some water. <laughs> I'm fine. No, honey, she's right. <sighs> Can I get you anything? No. Thanks. I'm really glad that you're here. Yeah. Me too. We're gonna find who did this. Of course. We'll get him. On here. He's a... There's gonna be another day after today, Emily. And another day after that. Hey, I didn't know you were home. Yeah, I left work early. Are you doing okay? I've never lost anyone this close before. Sorry, I know that you lost both of your parents. That was a long time ago. How do you get through it? You don't? Not right away? It just sucks for a while. And then slowly life comes back to you and you learn how to move forward again.
Do you know that he took her ring? Who? The piece of shit who killed Heather. Oh. I just want to kill him. I know exactly how I'd do it, too. I'd s slice open the carotid artery. It's right here. And you bleed out in seconds. Good idea. I him every single day. Mom, my phone's about to die. It's about, what do you want me to say? What, what, what more is there to say? I, I lost Heather too. I, I was, shit. No, yeah. I mean, considering. I meant it when I said you could talk to me anytime. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. I'm good right now, though. Uh, I was gonna go to Cardin's. See if he's okay. Okay. I'll see you later.
can't we talk this out? It didn't have to end that way with Heather. You killed her. If she wasn't such a great detective, I wouldn't have had to. But don't worry. I didn't make her suffer. Much. I can't believe that I thought you were sane. Why, Sarah? Why, Heather? Why me? Why this? My parents were always fighting. And then one night, after their usual screaming match, Mom went and found Dad's gun. And then he shot him. And then she shot herself. Gunshot wounds to the head, both deceased. Mommy. We've got a juvenile here, too. How old is the juvenile? How old are you? Can you help my mom? I, um, I mean, your mom's not. Wait. And they didn't help. I called 911. That's not fair. That they, they, they couldn't do anything. They didn't get there in time. You think you help, but all you do is let people die. So you're blaming me for what your mother did? I do. Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this happened to you. I just want to be your friend. I thought we had that connection. I really, I really thought. We can dance like this all night. Not much of a dancer. seconds left to live. But don't worry, I'm gonna make sure that everyone knows you are nothing but scum. You did everything you could. There's gonna be another day after today, Emily. You did the right thing. You did everything you could. I need paramedics. I have one injury and and I've got one fatality. Can you describe the injury? It's a it's a lacerated artery. How did this happen? How much time do you have? Are you safe? At work? At home? Yeah. 
Yeah, I am now. That's her, Emily. Hi. Man, you step back. That's my daughter. Mom, I'm fine. I'm fine. Can my parents? It's okay. It's okay. Where do you want us to start? Uh, we can start with those boxes right there. Okay. Carter. Thank you. For helping me with all this. Thank you. I know that. Just thank you. Yeah. Don't mention it. That's what I'm here for. I am really proud of you. And I know that Heather is too. I'm sorry. Ed. No, it's been... I love you. Love you too. Carden beating up on you again? Yeah. Well, as usual. Let's uh let's load up some more of these boxes. Come on. Thank you. 